My name is Vince Michaels with Submersible Systems. I will be training you today on how to use the HEAT-3. The HEAT-3 is a compact, lightweight, and extremely reliable, self-contained, all-in-one breathing system designed to increase your survivability of an out-of-air emergency. It is composed of a, a high-pressure tank, a regulator, mouthpiece, a, a check valve refilling port, and a dial air pressure gauge. The HEAT-3 is always on and ready for use. When you inhale through the mouthpiece, there's a diaphragm inside that opens up and allows the air from the tank to enter the regulator chamber and flow through the, flow through the mouthpiece into your mouth. When you exhale, the diaphragm in the regulator closes and allows the air to, to flow through exhaust ports at the bottom of the regulator. Pre-use check. It's really important to always check to make sure that the, your HEAT-3 is full by checking the air pressure indicator and making sure the needle's on the green zone, which tells you that it's full and ready, ready for use. Also, you should always check for any obvious damage, loose or broken parts. If you notice anything, you should refer that to your service department. Mounting. It's always best to use your heat three on a moly style vest with our moly with our moly style holster. It fits through the webbing. Make sure that the uh, there's straps on the back of the holster. It fits through the webbing. Make sure that they're secured, snapping properly so that so it stays on. Also, you have to make sure that when you pull the unit out of the holster, there's enough space for you to clear the top of the holster. To use the heat three, you just simply pull up on the D-ring, grab the regulator and just lift up. In the process of lifting up, the mouthpiece falls off the the mouthpiece cover falls off the holster. And just simply stick it in your mouth and start breathing. If if necessary, you're underwater, you can press the purge button to clear the regulator of any water, or you can exhale sharply through it. And just breathe at a normal rate and, and safely try to get to the surface. Remember also, too, that no matter what position you're located, if you're upside down, sideways, the regulator will always provide air as long as the unit was full. Refilling your unit can be done simply by you can fill from a full scuba comp you can fill from a scuba compressor using our 920C scuba compressor refill adapter. You simply just unscrew the the, the uh, uh, dust cap on the check valve fill port, and the this this adapter screws right onto the port here, and you can fill from your full scuba compressor. You can also fill from a larger full scuba tank using our scuba our 910C scuba tank refill adapter. Same concept, it screws to the check valve fill port, the other, the yoke fits, fits on a full scuba tank and you can transfer air from that. Servicing. Remember to always do a pre-use check, which I mentioned earlier. Make sure it's full before you're using it and make sure there's no broken or loose parts on it. If so, refer that use it unit to servicing. Every year or annually, we recommend that you do a leak test. You take a, your full heat three, submerge it in a tub of water, move it around a little bit, make sure that there's no trapped air left in it, and then observe it for a while and make sure you, 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 don't, you don't see a leak. A leak is defined as a constant bubbling at, at about 20 to 30 seconds of constant bubbling is a leak. And that unit needs to be referred to service if that's the case. At the five year mark, we always recommend that you get a complete overhaul with uh, using a complete spare overhaul kit. Also, the overhaul must be done by a HEAT-3 certified personnel. Also, the tank needs to have a hydro pressure air test every five years too as well. Routine care, if, you're, if, you're, if your unit should get dirty, only clean it using soap and water. Never use any chemical or acid-based solvents or cleaners. If you use your, if the unit is used in salt water or in a swimming pool, we, 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 we recommend that you, as soon as you can, rinse it with clean, fresh water, let it dry, fill it, and then store it. 
This concludes the Submersible Systems E3 training video. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at www.submersiblesystems.com. Thank you.